Hello there, it's Andy Younes from FormerServe once again. Welcome to our next How To on IBM My video set on how to add a banner to the SSH terminal on IBM I. In this tutorial, we will walk through the process of customizing your SSH terminal by adding a personalized banner. A banner is a great way to display important information or company branding for users when they connect to your IBM I via SSH. By following the steps outlined in this tutorial, you'll learn how to create and apply a customized banner, ensuring that anyone connecting to your system is greeted with the desired message. So let's get started and make your SSH terminal stand out. When adding company information to an SSH banner, it is important to include relevant details that help identify and communicate with your organization. Here are some suggested pieces of company information that you may consider including. Company name. Display your company's official name for immediate recognition. Contact information. Provide contact details such as a support email address or a help desk telephone number, enabling users to reach out for assistance or inquiries. A legal notice. Include any legal disclaimers or copyright information that may be required or relevant for your company. Security policies. Mention any important security policies that users should be aware of, such as prohibitive activities or data protection measures. Compliance statements. If your organisation adheres to specific industry regulations or standards, you can include compliance statements to showcase your commitment to security and privacy. Remember to keep the banner concise, informative and professional. The specific information to include may vary depending on your company's requirements, industry and any legal or compliance considerations. It requires three steps to get a banner in place. Nice and simple. One, we create a text file to hold the banner information. Then we edit the SSH configuration file. Then we have to stop and restart the TCP IP SSHD server. And that's it, all done. Nice and easy. Let's do it then. Let me open a Windows terminal and start an SSH session to my box Galatier. I'm sure you know all my boxes names by now. You can see no banner, straight into the bash session with its PS1 cursor prompt. See my bash videos if you need to know any more info about the PS1 cursor prompts. The first thing we need is a text file that contains our banner. I'm going to place mine in the slash home directory. To create and edit this file, I will be using an editor called Nano, which is fantastic for quick edits like this. If you don't have Nano installed, a quick yum install Nano will sort you out. As you can see, I already have it installed. To start Nano from your shell session, just type in nano slash home slash welcome dot text. If that file doesn't exist, it will create it for you. Nice. Nano is a very basic editor. Not as basic as SAU though. Is anything? Let me put some text in here. Let's keep it simple to start with. A row of stars, then welcome to former serve. Couple of lines down. IBM I, power seven, running 7.3. Yes, I know it's old. And no, I don't want any salesman trying to get me to buy a new box. You won't win. Then a few more stars and we are done. Control X to quit the editor. Then it will ask us to save. Yes, we do. So that's the first step done. An easy and pretty boring banner, to be honest. Let's just see if it works before we snazz it up. We can check it's there with a quick cat slash home slash welcome dot text. Here we go. That looks good. So that is step one out of the way. On to step number two, changing the SSH configuration file. The most difficult part of this is finding the config file. It's actually in QOpenSys, QIBM, Q user data, SC1, open SSH, etc, sshd underscore config. I said it was a mouthful. And as it's in QOpenSys, be aware of the case. And now we need to edit this config file. 
may be a good idea to take a copy first. I'll leave that up to you, give you a clue, use the CP command to copy a file. Life is too short to take backups. I bet I'll get slated for that. Back to Nano with the name of the config file. I will put that path and name in the description to save you typing it all in. Now we need to look for the banner section. Down, down, down. Here we go. I'll take the hash comment marker out of the way. Then at the end of the banner, with a space, put in the name and the path of our config file. Slash home, slash welcome.txt. Control X to quit Nano. And yes, we do want to save it. Out of Nano. I'll list out that file to ensure we got it right. Cat, with that long file name. And we can see the banner section here. This is step two done. Now we need to restart the SSHD server. Back to a good old green screen and end the TCP server, asterisk SSHD, and give it a couple of mo's, and then restart it. And now the moment of truth, will it work? I'll start a new terminal session. Da -da! How about that? To be honest, I did have a sneaky test off camera just to make sure it worked. So that's all the steps necessary to put a banner on an SSH session for all users. All pretty boring to be honest. Let's make it a bit more fancy. I'm a great lover of ASCII art. Takes me back to my time in the Navy. Did I mention I was in the Navy? In the communications office making ASCII art for Christmas Day when we hadn't seen land for months. Ah, Back to our banner. I'm going to be using a program called Figlet. There are many around to generate our ASCII text for us. We enter the text we want to use and select the style. Then copy its generated text and paste it into our welcome.txt file using Nano once again. Looks good. Let me save it. We then bounce our SSHD server. I'm sure you know how to do that by now. And start a new session. And there we go, the new banner for us. Let me show you the banner we normally use for our SSH sessions. All very neat. And that wraps up how easy it is to use an SSH banner on your IBM I. Makes things very neat and tidy. If you need any further details about open source or IBM I, check out all our videos at learning.formaserve.co.uk and the articles we have written for powerwire.eu. I hope you find them useful and let us know if there are any other topics you want us to cover. In this video we covered some significant features and benefits of IBM I. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. Learn from our experts and boost your skills on IBM I. Visit our website today and sign up for our training courses or buy us a coffee to show your support for our creative work. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.